heavyweight matchup between Israel Adesanya and Misha Serkunov. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar, and as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, okay, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. All right, so here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236, a monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out in round five, when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight was inspiring for anyone that likes mixed martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. So two years, the gap in age, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, five losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Misha Sarkuna. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go and grapple this guy. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Got the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big leg kick lands. 
Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Well, he misses with the left punch there. A little single collar tie there. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. Big elbow there, Lance. Straight right. Oh! Try to establish that jab. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. He's got to be careful to get his head to throw that jab. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Going orthodox now. That was a thudding leg kick. Big, powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel out of sight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. And now he's got the tie clinch. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. It's such a fast leg kick. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all ropes. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time. You never know what he's going to hit you with, and right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. Jockey in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this one. Won't finish his fight. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he might be out. Oh! His opponent screaming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Adesanya gets the tie clinch here. Good punch. Good takedown defense by Israel. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Adesanya gets the tie clinch here. And that one certainly found the target. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, nice. Oh, straight right. Clean with the right hook. The Canadian Sirkunov gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Nice. Keep moving. And then take Ten seconds to go. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish.
straight. Nice job there by Adesanya. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Adesanya. Serkunov's uppercut is blocked. Nice strike. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. 72 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And just 42% accuracy in terms of the land rate against Misha Serkunov. Nice punch lands over the top. Right hook to the head block. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Looking to land the right just out of range. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And they separate. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting him over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be his stand up? Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Keep moving, keep moving. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Serkunov's looking for an arm bar here. He is no one trick pony. Gotta be careful, Armbar. Armbar's been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He wow. lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the Canadian Serkunov. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Serkunov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Adesanya. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. And he landed the right hand there. Adesanya's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight.
All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Third round underway. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. I mean, that right hand landed square. Nice body kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh! He's out! He got him! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eva Vegas called a stop to this contest at 45 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel Velasco Alessandra. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also, most times, walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.